Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own preset to give your videos the same look as The Witcher using HitFilm Pro. Alright, to build our preset, first of course we have to go ahead and make a composite shot. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, we're just going to call this The Witcher Effect. And we're going to make it about nine seconds long because, <clears throat> of course, our stock footage is about a little over eight seconds. And the stock footage I'm using today is going to be from a previous video I did with how to track using HitFilm. And that's actually in HitFilm Express. If you, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to see that. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag in our stock footage. Um, we're going to go ahead and mute the audio because we don't need any audio in the background. This is just purely um, a visual effect. So let's go ahead and play through that. And as you can see, the colors are very bright. There's not a whole lot of contrast. The images, or the, the stock footage is a very bright, sunny day. And we actually want to dim that down just a little bit. Not every single scene in The Witcher, of course, is given this effect. It's, it's the majority of the show, don't get me wrong, but there, are, is, a, there is a few scenes where, um, you know, Geralt is outside and it's sunny and they want to give it more of a uh, light fluffy effect if you want to if you want to call it that this though on the other hand is when he's um a lot of his fighting scenes a lot of his fighting at night um the darks are really brought out the colors are not so vibrant and there's not a huge amount of contrast in it so let's go ahead and we're going to add a new grade on it and so that way we're not putting our effects directly on our stock footage we can actually control it a little bit better with this new grade um, not gonna really name it because we're only gonna have the one grade and just a couple effects so the first effect that we're gonna put on is actually glow darks if we come down here to glow darks we're gonna go ahead and add that to our new grade go over to the controls drop down our new grade and we're gonna change the intensity to 0.1 and then Everything else is actually going to be, you know, the threshold we're going to run up to 100%. And then the pixels we're going to run to 512. Just like that. What that's going to do is it's going to give these shaded areas, you know, like under this pot here and then this black little stand. It's going to, you know, well, just like the effect says, it's going to make those glow just a little bit. And what that does is it'll bring that dark out so that contrast is a little higher. Okay. So now the next, that, that's all there is for the glow effects, okay? Or the glow darks, rather. The next is hue shift, okay? And we're going to go ahead and drop that on our new grade as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave the preset the default. Saturation is going to be negative 38, and the lightness is going to be a negative 8. So what that does is we are basically dimming the ambient light that's in the scene, okay? Um, obviously, we haven't created any artificial light because we don't have any 3D models and we don't have any, you know, any shadows that we need to cast on any of the background. It's just strictly just a regular shot. These two little effects are just going to give you your stock footage, that extra little look that you find in The Witcher. And as you can see, it's given us a little bit darker of an image but at the same time still retaining a lot of the color that's in the screen. So let's go ahead and just throw down a little mask, just kind of give you an idea the difference between these two. You're not losing really any color in the scene. I mean, yeah, maybe the brick has got a little less red in it. It's got a little less rust color in it, but you're not losing, losing any of the color saturation in the scene. So you're still getting um, the same amount of look that you want, but at the same time, you're just dimming down and getting that preset that is found in The Witcher, or a lot of The Witcher, rather. Let's go ahead and delete that mask because we don't need that on there. Um, now, we actually, this is it. This is done. We can export this, and you can either, you know, create another composite shot and use this footage in, you know, a different shot or, you know, add any other effects. You can definitely change the effects that I've used here. There are settings and that kind of thing to get the look that you want. Um, these are just the settings that I've used that closely resemble the or as close as you can get anyways, to resemble the look of the Witcher series on Netflix. Um, so let's go ahead and make a preset. If you guys don't know how to do that, it's really super simple. Make sure that you go ahead and highlight both of the effects or any of the effects that you're going to be using all at once. You can click the first one and then hold shift down and then click the bottom effect and it'll highlight 
any effects in between those two, or you can just hold uh, control and click everything and it'll highlight it all. Then you're gonna go ahead and right click and then create preset. And we're actually gonna name this Witcher look. And we're actually gonna go to film looks and then save. And as you can see under the presets film looks folder, if you scroll down to the bottom, because it's all alphabetical, we'll say Witcher look. And the nice thing about that is if we delete these effects, we get back to our regular um, regular stock footage without any effects on it. We just go ahead and drag this and drop this down and it'll give us the exact same effect because we created a preset and you don't have to redo it again. You can do that with any effect that you use in HitFilm Pro and HitFilm Express. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And if you guys want to see anything in HitFilm Pro, leave a comment down below. Please don't for forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any other Misfit Studios content. And we will see you guys next time.